There are two types of people in the world. Those who put tape over their laptop's webcam and those who stream on Twitch. In one of the strangest popular phenomenon to come out of the internet, Twitch and other streaming sites have allowed those who love the limelight to get their daily dose of public attention from the comfort of their desk chairs. But it's not all donations and positivity. Twitch users have seen some pretty messed up stuff since the platform, owned by Amazon, was introduced in 2011. And as well as providing countless memes and compilation videos, Twitch has given us some pretty shocking moments, 10 of which are coming up now. Number 10. Is it getting hot in here? Fire and stupidity are a dangerous mix. Live streamer Dasuki learned this the hard way and so did his neighbors. In the video, the trouble begins when the Japanese gamer, while streaming Minecraft, has some difficulty replacing his lighter fluid. Clearly not thinking straight, he puts a still lit match into his trash bag, which is full of tissues. As you can imagine, this catches a light pretty quickly, but Dasuki takes a while to notice, despite his viewers warning him. <coughs> despite the few drops from his water bottle he uses in an attempt to put it out, he's unsuccessful. His next bright idea is to place the pile of burning trash into a corner of his room, the corner that's filled with cardboard boxes. As you'll see, things only get worse from there. He flees the scene for some water, but only brings a small bowl full. Unbelievably, the bowl itself ends up catching fire, making things even worse. After trying for some time to put the fire out with a pillow and more bowls of water, Dasuki is forced to flee the apartment as it fills with smoke. Sadly, the building was reportedly consumed by the blaze, injuring several people. Local news indicated that the body of a woman was recovered from the building when the blaze was eventually put out six hours later. Don't mess with fire, people. Number nine, Ice Poseidon. Popular streamer Ice Poseidon has captured so much crazy stuff over his streaming career, he deserves a spot of his own on this list. Real name Paul Danino, the 24-year-old was suspended from Twitch in 2017 after a crazy viewer made a hoax bomb threat allegation against Danino while he was awaiting takeoff on a flight. This practice, known as swatting, happens often to popular Twitch streamers, as you'll see later in this video. And it usually involves a viewer placing a fake call to emergency services, giving the address of the streamer, and an accusation of some type of serious and threatening crime. Here you can see Danino's plane being boarded by security officials. Of course. Grab that. But this wasn't the only crazy thing to happen on stream to Ice Poseidon. In another clip, a maniac with a fire extinguisher interrupted an otherwise enjoyable dinner for Danino and other restaurant guests by spraying the device all over the building. Yo, what are you doing, bro? Yo, dude, what the f are you doing, dog? Are you what the Bro, what Luckily, no one was harmed and the police apprehended the man soon afterwards. Number eight, neighbor trouble. Twitch streamer Jessica J is in the middle of a colorful sketch when a loud banging at her door startles her. When she answers it, she learns that she'd been so lost in her activities with music playing through her headphones that she'd been unable to hear the chaos in the street outside. It turns out one of the houses on her street is up in flames, including the trees in the yard. As she walks over to the window, she sees the raging inferno outside and quickly flees the house. Oh my god, you guys! Holy c Guys, I've got to go. This fire is spreading so fast. If her neighbors hadn't come to her place to make her aware of the blaze outside, who knows what could have happened. Thankfully, Jessica J later confirmed on Reddit that no one had been harmed by the fire. Number 7. Walk of Shame there are some really terrible people in the world, so it makes sense that there are some terrible people on Twitch too. Zillion OP gained popularity after sharing his heartbreaking story of being unable to afford the colossal medical bills associated with his paraplegia. Unable to walk and hence unable to work, the streamer amassed a great deal of sympathy from his fans. In a heartwarming display of human kindness, his fans pulled together, donating what they could and raised tens of thousands of dollars for the wheelchair-bound streamer more than enough to cover his medical bills. In fact, a single penny could have covered his medical bills. Because you see, Zillion OP was caught doing something a paraplegic could never do in one of his streams. Accidentally leaving the camera running, fans were appalled to see him doing this. 
Turns out Zillion OP isn't a paraplegic at all. He can walk just fine. But those fans who had donated, their wallets remained lighter than before because this streamer never returned a dime. Number six, International Stalker. Famous people have always had to deal with crazed stalkers. From John Lennon to Eminem, public figures have learned that it's just a product of the weird cultural force of celebrity life. Twitch streamers may be a new kind of celebrity, but their fan bases often exceed those of the old media stars. Their fan bases can be equally crazy too, as streamer Wreckful found out. While walking through the streets of Japan, Wreckful noticed that he was being followed by a creepy stranger in a surgical mask. To make sure he isn't just being paranoid, Wreckful makes several changes in direction, but the stranger continues to pursue him. Wait, he turned. Wait, he turned. Wait, do I run? I'm running. Eventually, the stranger calls out to Wreckful, and the streamer is relieved to find it's just a fan, pulling a twisted prank. man! You know me? Why did you do that? Come on, man. That was Upon asking the fan why he decided to mess with him, Wreckful grows uncomfortable once again. It turns out the fan had traveled five and a half thousand miles from Sweden just to meet him. Crazy or what? Number five, extreme reaction. Not all of the shocks on Twitch come from people doing terrible things. Some of them, due to the long hours streamers are live for, are simply alarming facts of life. Symptoms of illnesses, disabilities, and even death are commonplace on Twitch, as was the case with user Kun Kun. While streaming and eating snacks, Kun Kun begins itching himself. He is clearly in physical discomfort and appears confused. In a short space of time, things get a lot worse. Kun Kun goes very red, his breathing becomes labored, and he appears on the verge of unconsciousness. Eventually, he attempts to leave his chair and faints onto the floor. Oh. Oh. Turns out Kun Kun was having a severe allergic reaction to a snack containing peanuts. Eventually his reaction ended and he got back up, resuming the stream like nothing happened. While he did visit the ER eventually, he now suffers from brain damage and his fans were left disturbed and deeply concerned after watching their favorite streamer suffer the event. Number four, seizure on stream. In another worrying event caught on Twitch, streamer Lothar is playing Hearthstone when he begins acting strange. Looking around his room as if seeing something the viewers couldn't, he appears frightened and confused. As his hallucinations worsen, Lothar grows increasingly agitated. Eventually, his head tilts back and his eyes roll up into his head. He falls off of his chair with a final cry for help. His fans begin to panic as they hear the streamer struggle for breath off camera. Eventually, Lothar's wife enters the room, shocked to find him in such a state. Panicked, she tries to revive him, but when she is unable to, she contacts emergency services and Lothar is rushed to the hospital. Luckily for Lothar, he was able to make a full recovery, but had his wife arrived mere moments later, the story could have had a very different ending for his fans, who watched at home in horror, unable to help. Number three, Swatted. I mentioned earlier about the emergence of the troubling trend of swatting, but for Twitch gamer Jordan Matthewson, known as Kutra, the trend lived up to its name in a very real way. While in his office in Colorado, popular streamer Kutra is suddenly disturbed by an unwelcome party of visitors. I think you're getting swatted, what in the world? The heavily armed intruders are in fact a legitimate SWAT team, responding to a call accusing Kutra of shooting two co-workers and holding another hostage at his office. They force him to the ground, arrest him, and take him away for questioning and eventual release, but not before their huge, loaded shotguns give Kutra a scare he would never forget. While it may seem funny, and in this case maybe it is, there can be serious risks with a prank like this. Those guns are loaded, and one wrong move could leave a beloved Twitch star or anyone caught up in the swatting dead. Number two, public robbery. While streaming a game of Dota 2, Twitch user Sajaden, real name Nikki Elise, hears strange noises from downstairs in her house. Is that a knock? 
Her boyfriend goes to investigate, and soon a commotion can be heard. Concerned, Nikki goes downstairs, only to find her home has been invaded by two armed thieves who can be heard shouting at her to get on the ground. Most alarming is that one of the thieves can actually be seen entering Nikki's room, rooting around for anything of value, brandishing his pistol. He picks up several items, believed to be valuables and weapons, and heads back out. Luckily, thanks to her viewers contacting authorities, police were able to apprehend one of the robbers, but not before the other escaped. Amazingly, the calls to authorities were placed from all around the world, with the initial call being made all the way from Europe. It goes to show the internet can do some good when it wants to. Before I unveil the most unbelievable Twitch moment of all, there are a couple of contenders that deserve a mention. Another streamer shrouded in infamy, Pink Sparkles made her name because of her enormous personality, which she unfortunately flaunted on screen. She did it all, exaggerated fits of rage, not fake. I'm not fake. pretending to cry, even pretending her PayPal account got hacked to trick fans into donating to test whether it's working. Just one dollar. I, I, I don't give a how much you donate. Just try one, one dollar, like try one cent. I don't give a how much, just one cent. I don't care. I just want to make sure that it's working. I don't know if it works or not. Uh, it's working, it's working! But worst of all was when fans spotted ViewerBot software running on Sparkles' desktop. ViewBots are essentially fake stream followers and the discovery resulted in an instant temporary ban from Twitch. Other streams just leave a bad taste in your mouth. Like this moment when Brevold89's friends decided to entertain his audience with a spit fight, aiming for each other's mouths. Well, my mouth just filled with puke. Time for a palate cleanser. Number 1. Twitch's Crime Drama Extravaganza An arguably the craziest, funniest, and most unbelievable Twitch stream of all time, if not one of the greatest videos the internet has ever produced, this infamous stream from Mr. Big paints a pretty shady picture of the streamer's apartment complex. The first strange thing occurs when Mr. Big opens the door to a couple of cops who have come to speak to him following several noise complaints. Mr. Big is not particularly cooperative and is arrested, being walked out of his apartment by the officers. Why are you guys harassing me? You guys are taking me out of view of the camera. Yes, yes. I'm doing nothing wrong. Right. Pretty standard issue, what with all the crazy stuff that happens on stream, right? But this one's just getting started. After the police and homeowner are out of sight, the front door slowly opens and Mr. Big's neighbor enters. Clearly, this guy dislikes Mr. Biggs as much as the other neighbors who made the noise complaint because he immediately picks up several items, including Biggs' trainers and headphones, and steals them without hesitation. Not only this, but he makes a return visit for more. Maybe the police should have focused their efforts on this guy rather than Biggs. Either way, Mr. Biggs' sticky-fingered neighbor soon received a police visit himself. After all, there's no better evidence than a video broadcast all around the world. So, have you seen some crazy stuff on Twitch? Were you in the audience for any of the ones I've shared? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.